Alexandria's Jessica Rental. Today I'm going to be showing you how to operate the sea GTI 170. When booking online, you'll tell us when and where you want us to drop this off at. You will put the jet ski and take the jet ski out of the water. So the first step that we're going to show you here is you have to make sure the plugs are in. On this model, there'll be two plugs, one on each side. It's important that you leave this port open. This is not a port that gets plugged. So when it's time to fill it up with gas, you're gonna put it underneath this cover here, push this button in, lift up, and you're gonna put the gas right under here. Now it's time to put these in the water and start having some fun. So this is how you're gonna unload the jet ski from the trailer. Flip this latch here, uncrank it a little bit, unhook it from the strap, pull the strap out, then your jet ski's unhooked. Give it a little push and then it's free. One technique I like to use to help unload these is to use a rope. You're gonna tie that around the handlebars and then you can just pull it off and hook it to the dock. So every sea GTI 170 comes equipped with storage. Push that button and then you open up the front here and you have deep storage in there. And you also have a storage for cell phone and wallet in the front here. Every GTI 170 comes with an anchor and a dry box for phone, keys, wallet, etc. Inside the dry box we also have the Minnesota boating guide for any rules or regulations. In the front of your Sea-Doo, you'll also find a fire extinguisher and a safety kit. When you're ready to start, you'll always find the key in the center console here. You're going to attach one side of this to your life jacket, and the other side is going to go underneath the steering column here, and you're just going to push it in. And the red button here is going to be how you stop and start the machine. And make sure that you are at least in three feet of water when doing so. So to start it, hold down this button right here. As soon as you start it, you're gonna see that you're in neutral. The brake or the reverse on the jet ski is gonna be on the left side here. And the throttle is gonna be on the right side. So you see, as soon as I tap the throttle, it's gonna be in forward. I tap the brake, it's back to neutral. If I hold the brake and reverse, that's actually gonna put it in reverse. And then if I give it gas, it'll go backwards. This machine comes equipped with two different modes, touring and sport. To enter sport mode, you're gonna hold down this mode button over here. It's gonna flash sport mode, and you're gonna hold it one more time, and then it's gonna be in sport mode. And what that's gonna do for you, it's gonna give you increased throttle response. Check out this turtle. This machine is equipped with BTS, variable trim system. So you go up and down. And what that'll do for you is it'll adjust the nozzle on the back of the machine up or down. So if it is adjusted up, the back end of the machine is gonna go down and the front end of the machine is gonna come up. If you're pulling a tube, for instance, you're probably gonna wanna be it down so you're not shooting a jet of water in the face. And the gas gauge is gonna be on the left side here. This machine is also equipped with cruise control. You're gonna press this button on the right here. And then you can set your speed with the up and down arrows here. And you're gonna press it one more time to lock it in. So if you flip it over, I'm gonna show you how to flip it back up right. So when it's tipped over, you don't wanna to wait too long. So you're gonna to wanna to tip it back up right, right away. There's a sticker on the back here that tells you which way to rotate it. And this one's gonna be to the right, clockwise. What you're gonna do is you're gonna grab onto the grate on the bottom, and put your knee up and just pull it back over.
and that's the proper way how to flip it back upright. So when you want to get back onto the sidhu, there's a little boarding step in the back. Pull it down, get your knee on it, and grab the back of the seat and climb back on. So if your sidhu starts to bog down and doesn't want to go that fast, you probably have some weeds stuck in your impeller. So what you're going to want to do is make sure to pull the key off because you don't want it running when you put your hands under there. Pop off the machine. And the intake grate is going to be right about here underneath. And just reach under there and see if you can pull anything out. And try to pull it straight that way. These c -Dos are capable of pulling skiers, tubers, and anything else you can pull behind a boat or jet ski. And where you're going to hook it is right to this hook in the back here. And now when you're pulling, try not to run over the rope. Otherwise, the, um, the impeller will end up sucking it up. The way a sea steers is by directing a jet in the back of the jet ski. If you do not give it throttle, it will not turn. These sea are equipped with brakes. So you can be flying across the water, and if you hold the brake, it'll stop you really quickly. So when coming into the trailer, make sure to stay at a low speed. And use your brake. When putting it back on the trailer, feed the tether through the loop. And then you're going to hook it back up. Make sure this lever is down to engage it. And just crank it back up. And it should be resting on this blue roller here. Thank you for choosing Alexandria Jet Scrannel, and I hope you have a great time out on the water.